Hey, this is Paul, and here in the Friendly Viewer, we do a ton of tech reviews, as well as tutorials, how-tos, and tests on the Netgear Orbi. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Netgear recently released a brand new firmware version for the Netgear Orbi. It moves us from Orbi OS 1 to Orbi OS 2. Actually, they released two versions back-to-back, -back, version 2.0.0.72, and then really quick after fixing some bugs, 2.0.0.74. With that release, what you get is some small changes and small little updates and one very large one. We're going to get to that in this video. We'll get to the small changes first. The speed test has been updated to show in-progress data. You can see that you can tell that it's actually doing something this time compared to the old version. Click on the link above if you want to know how to perform a speed test on your Orbi. The attached devices page has been updated to show the device type, which Orbi it's connected to, and which band it's using. You can rename your satellites and connected devices. You can also control the radio transmission power with a selection of 100%, 75%, 50%, and 25%. You can configure this separately for your 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. There are also some bug fixes and security updates, which you always want to make sure you're on top of. So the Orbi works by using that third band to connect the router and the satellite. But with Orbi OS 2, the major change is now the satellites can also communicate using that third band. That allows for the daisy chain topology. This means that if you have to put a satellite that's too far away to establish a good connection with the router, it can actually hop through by communicating to a satellite to get the data back and forth with the router. So this is going to be great to extend your Wi-Fi coverage if you have a very large location you need to get to. One question that comes up a lot is people that have an outbuilding or an external garage of how to get the Wi-Fi to that location, especially if your router is situated on the opposite side of your house. Now you can take a, another satellite, put it as close in your house to the outbuilding or garage as you can get. You can put another one out in that outbuilding or garage, and as long as they can establish a good connection and your satellite and router can establish a good connection, you're going to have Wi-Fi everywhere, and it's going to be great for you. So I'd give that a shot and try it out with this Orbi OS 2. The other thing is, is I've had some people ask me a question of, hey, can you test it out and see how well it works? Well, I have two problems I'm up against here. One, I don't have a second satellite, so I need to get one of those to check it out. And two, my house isn't large enough for me to test this out unless I get really creative because anywhere in my house that I'm going to put this other satellite, it's going to establish a better connection directly to the router than through another satellite first. So I'd have to get creative and maybe put it outside or do something like that. So we'll see if it happens, but really no promises there. So if you want to go out there and get this new firmware version and test this out, as of the day I gathered the material for this video, Netgear hadn't pushed this firmware version out to the Orbeez, meaning if you go to the firmware update page and click a button, you're not going to see where it shows up and has a new firmware version. You're going to have to go out there and find it manually. You can check out the description below and I'll put a link to where those file locations are so you can download them and I'll put a link up here, should pop up there and teach you how to update your firmware manually if you don't know how to. So go check that out if you want to or you can just wait around until they push it out to everyone. This has been Paul keeping you up with the latest on the Netgear Orbi with Orbi OS 2. Thank you for watching.